Hi there, welcome back to the channel. If it's the first time that you're joining us, I'm Dr. Sylvia, a general practitioner and the founder of Ask Away Health, where we provide you with direction and clarity about everything medical. Make sure you subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell so that every time we publish a new video, which tends to be once a week on Saturdays, you're one of the first to know about it. Hey now. Take a step outside and seize the day now Set aside your worries, it's okay now The sun is here to stay Today we're talking about emergency contraceptive pills But let's start with what's emergency contraception? So an emergency contraceptive um, pill is the medicine that's taken by mouth that's not regular contraceptive methods so it's used um, as an ad hoc measure for example if somebody has been on regular contraceptives and they forgot to take their pills um, or if they've had an unplanned and um, uh, sexual encounter or perhaps they have been um, using um, condoms during a sexual um, encounter but the condom splits now the most common forms of emergency contraception are the condoms used before sexual intercourse or the contraceptive pills while the most effective emergency contraceptive method is the copper IUD intrauterine device which if used or inserted in the woman in the womb um, up to five days following intercourse or um, five days after ovulation has been found to be very effective in preventing pregnancy right to address the topic of this video, the first thing we need to consider is how do emergency contraceptive pills work. But before we do that, I would like us to look at some statements which I refer to as reproduction and contraception facts, but which bear a lot, they're very important in regards to what we're going to be talking about in this video today. So the first fact is ovulation. Ovulation is the release of a mature egg from one of the woman's ovaries. In a woman with a regular 28-day cycle, this occurs 14 days, roughly 14 days after the first day of her last menstrual period or 14 days before the beginning of the next period. So, Fact number two, normally the egg that's been released will survive for between 12 to 24 hours. Fact number three, sperm that is released during sexual intercourse can survive within the woman's body for between five to seven days. Fact number four, women taking the emergency contraceptive pill to prevent pregnancy need to know that the risk of pregnancy depends on the timing of sexual intercourse relative to your ovulation in that particular month cycle and I'm going to explain more about why this is important. Currently, the emergency contraceptive pills that we have are in two different categories. The one that contains levonorgestrel and commonly sold as Levonel, Postinor, Postpill, Postinor 2. The other category of emergency contraceptive pills is called Ulipristal Acetate, which works on um, receptors sensitive to progesterone and is commonly sold as Ella 1. So both of these work by delaying ovulation, that is, the release of the egg, of a mature egg from the woman's ovary, by about five days. So the implications of this are, taking the pill will delay the release of your egg, that is ovulation, for five days, which is roughly the same period of time for which the sperm are alive or viable. Remember we said that um, sperm released into the woman's body can last between, can remain viable or remain alive for between five to seven days. The second implication, if you think about it, is the emergency contraceptive pills are only effective when used before you ovulate. So if you take them and you have already ovulated, then they're not going to work. They're not meant to work that way. So it's really important. And that's why we said that women need to be aware that the risk of pregnancy when they're taking the emergency contraceptive pill is related to the time that they have intercourse and how it's related to have you ovulated or have you not ovulated which bit of your cycle your menstrual cycle are you in so it naturally goes on to mean that taking the emergency contraceptive pill um, in the part of your cycle before you ovulate is when it's most effective 
Now we know that for levonorgestrel, the emergency contraceptive pill is most effective when it's taken from straight away after intercourse from up to 72 hours after intercourse. But all this is as long as it is within the first part of your cycle before ovulation. Now Ulipristal, the other emergency contraceptive pill, also delays um, ovulation by up to five days until the sperm produced during that episode of sexual intercourse for which the pill was taken have died away. So that's another way, that's its way of working, of preventing, preventing pregnancy. So this is also important because we said that um, levonorgestrel is effective up to 72 hours. It is most effective on the first day or immediately taken after sexual intercourse. It carries on being effective, but that effectiveness is reducing. So the effectiveness rate is reducing up to the third day. Now for Ulipristal, um, it's effective from as soon as you take it following sexual intercourse, but it stays on that level um, for up to five days after unprotected sexual intercourse. So that's another way that it is more effective than levonorgestrel. So this is the first reason, In obviously we're doing this video because we're trying to work out why somebody has used the emergency contraceptive pill but oh no, three weeks later she's pregnant. This is the first reason for why you think the pill hasn't worked. Actually, it can't work if you take it in the half of your cycle when you have ovulated. So, a woman's cycle can be split in half by the process of ovulation. So the half before ovulation and the half afterwards. And what I'm saying is that the emergency contraceptive pills work by delaying ovulation and so they will not work if you have intercourse in that part of your cycle after ovulation, they're not going to work. So that's the first reason. So let's look at the second reason. So let's say that everything lines up. Um, sexual activity has happened during the period before ovulation and the woman has taken the emergency contraceptive pill. Fantastic! But what happens if she still falls pregnant? What could have happened? So this is something else to remember and which we also need to make sure that every woman who's taken the pill is aware of. Remember that we said that the emergency pill delays ovulation. Fine! So for five days the egg is kept on hold and after the fifth day, the egg is released. What happens if she has sexual intercourse again and hasn't got any protection at that point? That egg that we delayed for five days is going to meet mature, is going to meet viable sperm from the next episode of sexual intercourse, and she could get pregnant as a result of that. So the message, of course, is that. Um, you would need to use another method of uh, another pill or another method of emergency contraceptive if sexual intercourse happens again after the egg has been released. So these are the main reasons for why the emergency contraceptive pill might appear to have failed. It's about timing and we are pretty much about timing and just being aware that you need to protect yourself at certain times of the of the of the month with the right method, and being aware that um, engaging in unprotected sexual in intercourse, even after you, you've used the pill, does not mean that you are necessarily covered by that same method. So it's something that bears thinking about. And as I mentioned at the beginning, by far the most effective form of emergency contraception is the copper intrauterine device, the copper IUD. This works by preventing fertilization and implantation and the copper IUD can be effective if inserted up to five days following sexual intercourse and up to five days following ovulation for a woman who's, uh, who has a regular period and whose menstrual cycle is, is known so we can calculate the dates. So I have one question um, that I'd love to um, ask you guys and I'd love to hear from you in the comments. So how often do you think it's appropriate to use the emergency contraceptive pill? How often do you think it's right? Why do you think so? Um, and is twice or thrice a month just too much? What do you think? Share your thoughts in the comments. And that brings me to the end of this video. Thank you so much for watching. Um, 
if you've got any questions on this particular topic send us an email i'll put the details in the description below it's info at ask away health um if you found this video helpful if it's maybe clarified something about emergency contraceptive contraceptive pill uh, comments they helpful that really um you know sh tells me that yes this needs somebody's need and it tells me that this is the kind of um content to put out for people and if you want to join our community of ask away health members we have an online community and um, that's growing you can subscribe to our um, platform www.askawayhealth.org i will put the link in the description as well and members of this community get access to our blogs and weekly health tips and um, you also have the chance to ask a burning question that we can turn into a video so that's another feature for being a member of the um, of the hub right thank you so much for listening to this one guys and i will see you again soon